I'm Jake Anderson. I'm from Western Wyoming. I just moved out to Montana about a year ago. And of course, uh, got to check out the Missouri River breaks for those giant sheep. I've heard about how big the, the sheep can get there, how big those rams are, and like, I just kind of wanted to see it for myself. Like, uh, see if I could find them. Just to see what that kind of country was like and uh, just explore. In the Missouri River breaks, there's these, I guess, the sinkholes. And it looks like the water has created, like the water created them. And they're usually in the bottom of a cut. And I was walking along the bottom of one of those cuts and uh, like looking in them at random. And that's when I looked in one and something ju jumped out at me, you know, made a noise. And I was like, what the heck? And so uh, I came back in and my curiosity got the best of me. Here goes nothing. Got a, got a sheep down here. Mom right there. She's starting to chill out now. But uh, got some straps. Gonna try to fish him out of there. And up at me. And honestly, my heart broke and I was like, oh no. You know, because it was too deep to go in the hole. Um, I re really just had to do whatever it took to get this lamb out. You know, even if I had to go to town and get a ladder or something crazy, you know, whatever. But <clears throat> I turned around and this ewe that was way off, like four or 500 yards on the ridge, was like 30 feet from me. So I knew immediately it was, it was her lamb that was down there. And the lamb was pretty active. It was like running circles, jumping up on the side. Uh, but it was like, you know, 10 to 12, 14 feet deep. And there was no way that it was going to get out of there. Then I was started to thinking that these nylon straps that I have, maybe they would work. And so I made this little noose and I th threw it down. And as she ran around, it, like her feet would catch in it and make it smaller and smaller. And then all of a sudden got her. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm about to hold this little baby sheep. Cause, and it, she was really like a jackrabbit. I mean, it was really small and very, very light. I don't know what she weighed, but it was pretty light. You know, they're, they're, all, they're all legs. It's just all legs. But yeah, you could feel her heart beating on my hand, like boop, boop, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. And so I got her up and really quickly, like, cause I didn't know if she was gonna freak out, like took it off her leg and like let her go. And she took off right into the sagebrush that's about three feet tall there and just gets tangled up and falls right back in the hole in like a panic to, to get away. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> but I was able to fish her out. It took like five minutes the second time to get her by the front leg and bring her up. And I took her apart or took her off the, took it off of her leg and brought her like 30, 40 feet from the hole and I let her go and she didn't go. Baby fell right back in, but I got her out again. I don't know if it's, if it's a girl. She just was like jumped on my lap and was like underneath me, like looking for mother's milk. And then for like the next 15, 20 minutes, she was like my best friend. <laughs> this old guy thinks I'm mom now. Won't leave me alone. Oh, sorry, buddy. Mom's right there, still thinks it's in the hole. Come on, buddy. Come on, Mom, look. Really, after about like 10 minutes of, of this, like her showing her affection and thank you for rescuing me, I um, started to get worried because the mother kept looking down the hole. And the you know, mother the whole time was like 50 yards away. Um, close enough that she knew what was going on. She knew that was her baby in the hole there. Um, but after I got the lamb out, she still was pretty obsessed about the hole and like looking down there and doing circles around it. And she could clearly see the baby was, or the lamb was out of the hole. 
but um, she was like, took her a while to be convinced that, hey, wait, that's my baby? <laughs> Don't you see mama right there? She sees you. We can't go back to that hole. You'll be in there for a third time. Nobody gets three chances. Yeah, it was definitely like, uh, make myself as small as possible so that you would come in. And she kept getting closer and closer you know, to the point where it's like a little too close. Come, here comes mom. Nope, nope, you had it right, that's mom. Yep, she's, I'm not, she's usually right under my legs. And, what, but when I stood up to like get, make some distance, uh, then she would like run away and it happened like three or four or maybe even five times. And then eventually, like, the lamb walked away from me a little bit. And then the mother was like, came in really close, I don't know, 20 feet or something. And they kind of touched noses and she realized that that was her, la her lamb and the lamb realized this was my mother and... It's walking away from me, here we go. It knows it's mom. Go make some big rams. Perfect. What a day. They started suckling and they went on the ridge where the mother originally was and they suckled there for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour, and then disappeared over a really steep ridge and I had never saw them again.